Everybody, welcome back to my project 13 the LG G6 my final review not in typical fashion just gonna have a conversation about this device and my experiences with the LG G6 that I picked up from T-Mobile for $650 650 smacks high price sure but decent price yes considering flagship prices $650 for a device that I say in 2017 right now is a powerhouse device now we're going to go over uh, some areas on this device that I like. Maybe a couple areas that I thought they could have done different. Uh, one of the biggest complaints was we're in 2017. Why doesn't it have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835? Well, it doesn't. It has an 821. I'm going to tell you something. Once you use this device and you find out that it's a performer, it's efficient, that it will not let you down, that it is buttery smooth, nothing has prohibited this device from doing what it's supposed to do. Now you have the LG UX 6.0 user interface over the top of Android Nougat. Okay, again, Qualcomm Snapdragon 821. It is a quad core and it has got the Adreno 530. Underneath the hood, this device performs. But more importantly than that, what do we use these devices for? Well, we call, we send messages. That's gotta be there primarily outside of performance. And batteries in there too. Call quality messaging with T-Mobile here where I live locally is 100% thumbs up. Now, remember my experiences could differ from yours depending on who your carriers and where you live. So please consider all that when you're watching this final review and we're just chit chatting about the LG G6. Let me just tell you, you're gonna be super stoked with the LG G6 in my opinion. A device really seriously to consider in 2017. Which leads me into my next part of my conversation, and that's the quality build of this device. It is just one tough device. No creaks, no squeaks. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. You got your fingerprint sensor there that works flawlessly. You got your two 13 megapixel cameras, one wide angle, one standard mode. You got the dual flash. You do have optical image stabilization. I've made a video on that, and I'm telling you, it looks amazing. I'll use that from time to time. I don't mind having it turned off. I like my videos sometimes to be a little bit more raw without that extra help, but it's nice having it as a choice. And I know a lot of you love it. So to each their own, man, I'm, I'm still learning a lot about the camera area. And as my journey goes on, I'll educate myself and I'm sure all of you are gonna help educate me in that area as well. Totally digging using the cameras on the LG G6 and shooting video as well. But this part of the conversation is about the quality build, the sexy device. I'll tell you, man, LG design, the blueprint of this device is just phenomenal. The small bezels, the 18.9 aspect ratio, that display is just gorgeous. IPS LCD 1440 by 2880. Bam, it's not 16.9, it's 18.9, gorgeous rounded corners on that display. I don't mind the sharp corners, but it's pretty sexy, man. These bezels are tiny. They're gonna get tinier on the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, but this is the first device to come out in 2017 that has those rounded corners, these tiny bezels. Yeah, large display, 5.7, squeezed into this tiny little, man, just amazing to me, just phenomenal. And the viewing, when it comes to movies, Wow. Let me play you a little snippet here. Um, I'm going to have to have the volume turned down due to the fact to copyright laws. Um, and I don't want to get myself into trouble. As you can see, look at that. All the way across the display. No black bars. I got MX Player on my LG G6. I downloaded that off the Play Store. I've been using MX Player for years. I have the Pro version that doesn't have any ads. And look at how beautiful that is. That is just gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. In MX Player, you can change the aspect ratio for movies. Like if you have any movies that may not fit this display, you can go in and mess around with the aspect ratio in the settings in MX Player. And hopefully you can figure out how to get 
get your your movies your videos to fit this display i'm not having any trouble with the majority of my movies every everything i've put on here has worked so far that may be different with um home movies that you have like on eight millimeter film that you've converted over and then you download onto your devices that may, there may be some issues there but again you just work with that uh this in the settings area with the aspect ratio um if i go right here and i go to display and i go to aspect ratio you can see well that's the zoom part let me go back out display aspect ratio you got default and as you can see those are all the same there's 16 uh my nine there um, and then you go down to custom and that's where I actually have it set to 18 by 9 there you can see that so it's just an area that you need to mess with when um, downloading movies your own personal movies and making them work for you on this device to enjoy all of this display just gorgeous just beautiful Anyway, wanted to show you that. If you have any more questions about that, you can leave some information down below and I will talk a little bit about that with all of you or maybe, maybe make a separate video. I don't know. Um, it, that could be a very lengthy video too um, and going into every little detail and explaining. But I would say download the app, mess around with it and see what you think. But I'll tell you, make the most of this display. It is gorgeous. LG just did a great job. Um, which leads me into my next thing because when you're watching movies, you're going to listen to the audio. You have a single speaker and again, one of my little cons is um, dual speakers. It doesn't have dual speakers. I wish at least the earpiece doubled up as a, as a, uh, as a uh, speaker, but it doesn't. Next to those sensors right there is your earpiece. And your other camera is right there. Um, so, yeah, they could have they could have had that, you know, double up as a speaker along with this speaker. Um, that's part of the sacrifice on some of these devices as, as the bezels get tinier and tinier. Um, but I think that's the way that they could complement a device is by at this point in the game, dual speakers. Yeah, you can do that with every device, especially utilizing that earpiece area as a speaker. So, um, but you got IP 68 certified water resistant device which means and i've talked about this in other videos you have a coating in that speaker area that should be prohibiting this speaker from sending out really really good quality when it comes to the audio um but it doesn't it doesn't this speaker sounds really really good i love it i i, I i'm stoked that lg was able to figure out how to keep this whole device water resistant and yet not take away from the experience when it came to the audio and I'm gonna just play a song here. Six hundred and fifty smacks gets you a lot, man. You got a quality built device. You got a device that has great uh, call quality, messaging, performance, your audio experience, your visual experience, and all of that. How does battery do with all of this that's going on this device? I haven't talked about the cameras yet, but I'll get to that. I just don't want to miss on the battery. The battery is giving me four and a half hours, give or take, when using this device really heavy during the reviewing process. Okay, because when I review a device, I do it in the raw without any battery saving option modes. I really want to use the device to the fullest of its ability. So I don't turn on those battery saving options. I just use it continuously, continuously. Then I bring you reports. I edit in screenshots on battery life. Four and a half, give or take, with heavy, heavy usage. I got up to about seven hours screen on time when I used it one day, moderately. And a couple times it was a little bit heavy, but mostly moderately. So if you're moderate, you're going to get amazing battery life. I use a lot of devices all through my experiences. And again, disclaimer, 
There's many variables. Very, very ma many variables that go into battery life. These are just my, uh, my uh, experiences that I'm sharing with you when it comes to uh, battery life. It is efficient. If you're a moderate to less than, you're going to get some amazing battery life. You really are. Whether it's six to seven hours, seven and a half hours, whether you're a heavy user and you're only getting four to four and a half to five, that's heavy, right? You could be a gamer. So battery life doing awesome, totally digging it. So any more on that, leave that down below and I'll get back to you on any questions you have about battery life. All right, let's talk about the cameras on the LG G6. I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible, as thoroughly as possible. If I miss anything, please leave some feedback, and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer those questions. On the front, we have a 5-megapixel shooter. No flash on the front of this device. Shoots video in 1080p. No optical image stabilization on the front. On the back, you have a 13-megapixel wide-angle lens, f1.8 aperture, and you have your standard mode, f.2 aperture. 13 megapixel shooter. So two 13 megapixel shooters on the back. Your dual flash does have optical image stabilization, phase auto detection. It does shoot video in 4K. And um, anyway, let's 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 get into uh, the rest of the conversation when it comes to the, using the camera and shooting video. If I can get it on that little mini tripod there, my flexible tripod, the accessory that I got one of my boys during Christmas. I've never used it in a video and I thought this would be the best time to use it so I don't have to keep moving the device around. All right, so let's get in here. Now, upper right hand corner, you have this area. If you tap on it, it's going to show you the latest action that was done with the G6 as far as any pictures taken or any video that was uh, shot. Back out of there, you got your video symbol there, your camera symbol there, your back out of your camera back to your home page but let's get back in there and top center you got the single tree the triple tree the triple tree is your wide angle lens 13 megapixel and your standard 13 megapixel so you can go back and forth now we'll tell you this when shooting video you can actually just keep switching back and forth without having to stop the video and that's really cool. You've seen me do that when I'm vlogging in the morning or any time during the day with this device. I've, I've done that with my LG V20. So I like that without having to stop, you can switch back and forth. Upper left-hand corner, you have four modes here. Auto mode, square mode, your camera manual mode, and your video manual mode. And I'll get into that as well. Then you have your flash on, auto, and off again. And then if you wanted to go to the front facing cam to take a picture, a selfie, or shoot some video, you can either tap that camera symbol with the arrow going around it. Hey, everybody. Or you can swipe across. Drag, swipe, whatever you want to call it. You can do it. I like the drag, the swipe effect. We got filters. Urban, vivid, violet, vintage, none, jade, nostalgia, black and white, 1839. And then you got your modes, auto panorama, 360 panorama, food, pop out, snap, slow mo, time lapse. I actually use slow mo time lapse for reviewing devices. Um, maybe some of you are into this pop out mode, which if you um, wanted to take picture, well, let's. I want to do lens blur, so you can put a little image in there, like Batman, snap that photo, and basically it's gonna give you a picture with a little blur effect around. The picture that you took okay so my battery is dying it's okay i got at least 15 percent battery juice left should make it just fine let's go back to mode and again i do utilize slow-mo and time lapse a little more than the others if you have this device you can play around with these functions you see if, it, if it's practical or not they're just there for fun if you want to just enhance your experience on the camera on the lg g6 and these kind of settings are on most devices anyway so let's go back to auto. Um, really did that. So let's go to settings. You got your photo size, your aspect ratio of your pics. And you can do 18 by 9 photos as well. You got the aspect ratio of this display at 18 by 9. So there's your photo sizes. 
video resolution. There's 4K. There's Full HD at 16 uh, by 9 at 60 frames per second. And again, you can uh, shoot video in 18 by 9 Full HD as well. And at HD down here as well too. So there's some of the settings there. Um, camera roll. If I have that turned on, what that's going to do is bring up the latest activities, the latest photos, videos, all over on the left-hand side. So if I tap one of those, I can look at that photo. I can trash it. Or I can just put it right back there. I don't really utilize that, but it's a neat feature for some of you who want that there. Again, it can be practical or not. It's, it's up to you. I'm going to turn it off. You got HDR, high dynamic range. HDR combines multiple photos taken at different exposures to create the best photo. Timer, three seconds, 10 seconds. I wish there was a five second, but it's not. No big deal. Voice shutter. So you can take a, a picture by saying cheese, smile, whiskey, kamichi, or LG. So if I turn that on, I go back out. LG. And it actually took a photo. Pretty cool. I don't use this stuff, but some of you do. Some of you find this really important to have. And steady recording, your optical image stabilization. It's off right now. Tap that. Tag locations, grid, add signature. So I do have a signature there, and I can tap into that area. And it basically will, um, you can... Whatever, whatever you want to have every photo or video, you can tag it with whatever, whether it's your name, whether it's, well, I have my project 13 and it has different, um, lettering. So you can choose the font of how you want that to be on your phone. So I have my project 13. It's done. So you can see the different fonts. Okay. I added that there. Now I'm going to snap a picture. Let's save, go into that photo, and as you can see right down below there, it says my project 13, pretty cool, pretty sweet. Let's go back out of there, and I think that was it as far as, when you got uh, your uh, storage, which is my SD card in Simple View. Simple View basically just takes everything away, and, and you can just tap on the display to take a picture. Let me just do my little peace sign there tap on that and there you go okay that's simple view and then any uh, help you may need you can tap on help and get some instructions on how to use your device in the camera area for you better on the LG G6 all right so let's get into the other modes I did plug in the G6 I'm losing my uh, my battery life here been using the device a lot today, so I don't want to lose it right now in the middle of this conversation while I'm reviewing the camera on the LG G6. So square mode, basically you're going to take a shot and preview it right away. So let's do that. Bam, there's Batman. And you can actually share that by tapping on that area at the top of the left hand uh, of, this, of the display there. Gives you some options. You can share it on Facebook. You can message that. Uh, you can send it uh, Gmail or you can edit it. So it's got some nice little options there in sharing that specific photo. If you don't like it, you can trash it. Bam, it's gone. All right, so let's go back out of there and go to your camera manual uh, mode. Here are your settings. So you can manually tweak your photos, whether it's white balance, autofocus, your exposure value, your shutter speed. It's all right there. This is for your for you trained professionals. I am not a trained professional. I'm still learning a lot of this. I watch videos. I'm reading. I want you to leave some feedback and help me learn a little more about this area. I'm just sharing what is here if you're one of those that love to tweak your pics. Okay, let's get out of there and go to your video manual mode here. Not only are you going to be able to mess around with your white balance, your EV and your ISO and your shutter speeds, but you're also going to be able to go in and tweak your audio for the audio that's being received by the G6 to come out the way you want it to, depending on whether it's you're, you're shooting the video in a quiet place, a noisy area or outside, which you do have a wind noise filter that you can actually turn on and turn off. Again, you have a left mic and a right mic and messing around with that area. 
for those of you who really love to uh, to do a lot of tweaking, there you go. That's what that area looks for. Looks like I mean, um, if you go in, this these are the settings for video uh, manual mode. You got your video resolution, your frame rate. So you do have one frame per second, two frames, 24, uh, 30, 60 frames per second. So there's different uh, frame rates there that you can mess around with. You have your hi-fi, record a video in hi-fi, uh, high quality sound. So you have that option too, which I'm sure will really increase the value of your audio that's being received by the G6, your timer, your steady recording for your optical image stabilization, tag locations, grid storage, and help. Now, I didn't show you the... Uh, camera manual um, mode as far as the settings which you have there you have your photo size your aspect ratios your timer voice shutter tag locations guide save as raw take a photo in the raw for more editing control images are saved in both dng and jpeg formats and you can add a signature there as well storage and help so that concludes what is on the lg g6 as far as the cameras it's got a lot got a lot i'm i'm not going to utilize about half this stuff. But some of you out there, again, you train professionals, this is this is your thing. I just like snapping away or shooting away as easy as possible. <laughs> I make my life as easy as possible when it comes to these specific areas. But I'm learning more. I'm learning more. And trust me, homework is always important when it comes to the cameras and shooting video as well. So taking pics, shooting video, uh, I, you know, a year ago, I don't, I didn't even know half of what I know now. Two years ago, man, yeah, didn't know diddly squat. I'm amazed how far personally I've come in a lot of areas when it comes to tech, especially when it comes to uh, photography. So pretty stoked on that. So we're going to go completely out of there and um, stay tuned for some video clips, a, a pick slideshow, and then that will end my final review on the LG G6. This part of the video will conclude the final review on the LG G6. To end it, you're going to see the front facing video shooter in 1080p standard mode. I'm gonna switch to wide angle. And then I'm going to go to the rear cam shooting 1080p wide angle and standard mode as well and then you're going to see a little slideshow some pictures in wide angle and standard mode as well and that will finish the review itself hopefully i've communicated i communicated enough information about the lg g6 that you can go on as far as making your final decision whether this device is going to be for you or not and maybe i have it but I hope I can at least add a piece to that puzzle. Because 650 smacks is still a lot of money. And making these decisions, they are important when you're spending that kind of money. I just wanted to help out the best that I can in sharing my experiences with you in conversation. Not so much in a techie way, even though I did share some uh, tech specs about the LG G6, which needed to be included in the conversation. But everything was based on my thoughts, my opinions, and my experiences. I edited in a message in the beginning of the video where I said that the LG G6 isn't going to be for everyone. Some of you out there may not even like it at all. You may say, ah, it's okay. But I feel that the majority is going to feel like I do. I really, really like this device. I really do. Um, it's been a really fun device. And yes, there's a couple missing areas on it, but I'm okay with that. I'm really, I really am. So it's up to you. It's up to you on what you decide you're gonna do, whether it's this device or another device. Maybe it's something from last year that's dropped in price. Maybe it's something going forward. Maybe it's the S8, S8 Plus, or a whole different device. Anyway, I'm gonna to switch to the rear video and I'm actually gonna add some music to that. Again, thanks for watching everybody. Peace, God bless, I appreciate your support. Without you, man, my Project 13 does not happen. So thank you.